Morning ladies, welcome to the week three of our coffee and card with Penguin Place. Um, so we're making a pinwheel card today. Oops, upside down. Um, so as you can see, it's got uh, several different sides. There's lots of stamping. It's quite a long video. Um, but there's the pinwheel, as you can see there. So let's move over to the craft space and get started. See you in a moment. Well, let's get started. So... There's a lot of bits for this card, but we'll make the base first. Yeah. So what you need to start with is the Fresh Freesia card pieces. So they should have four one that's scored and then three the same size that aren't so just carefully put the others to one side because you've got loads of bits to do and we're just going to make the card base so the first thing you need to do is fold and, uh, and I can't remember what that's called <laughs> Oh dear, that's a good start, isn't it? No, nope, Brains Bank it is a Sunday morning while I'm videoing this. That's probably why. I've just done my Sunday morning class, which is why we've got little bits of stamping on there. But the rest of it's clean and we don't like work wasting grid paper. Right, so once you've burnished all your folds, you're then going to make a little box by folding over um, that piece. So you're just folding it over. One, two, three, four, and then gluing it down. To there and then that's where you're going to be gluing all your flaps to so gonna go no it's not gonna go right. definitely not going Tell how old it is because all the wrappers come off. It's obviously reached the end of its life. Fortunately, I've got one that's out of its packet. <laughs> so I just need to open up. There we go. Right. Watch this one come splodging out now because it's new. But no. You need to get right up to this fold here because you don't want it to gape. Okay. We are literally folding, folding. So it is going there. So we just fold it flat. There we go. That's in position there. So you've got a nice base there for the rest of the card. Okay. Try not to get glue on the rest of it. It is being covered up, so that's fine. So then you need to do the rest of your sort of propeller or pinwheel, I think we're calling it. So you're gluing another piece on here. And you're just gluing a piece to each three of the faces. Okay. Because it's an action card, you do need to use a fair amount of glue. And I'm actually spreading it out with the piece of card itself. And you're just gluing to the fold. You don't want to go past the fold, otherwise it won't close. So if we do that, there we go. And with any 3D card, there is a way, a way that it will fold and then a way that it's not quite so flat. Just getting my glue eraser, which has disappeared. That's bizarre. All right, run it without. All right, so, and then we're gluing the next one. So there's your first pinwheel. So the next one goes on here. Okay. 
and again shimmy it around a bit and we're just gluing to the fold and then check it's not impinging there we go and then the last one is going on here again to the fold so again like with so many fun folds they're actually quite simple um, I always tell you to keep the first time you've done oh, don't slide it around like that keep the first time you've done a fun fold so that you can see how it goes together and also check the measurements okay and there we go so that's your pin pinwheel card base and we're just going to add bits to it so and I did it that way around so you've got the biggest piece to the right you can do it either way up it's up to you so, and we'll start with this one here. So you will have our purple hatted penguin somewhere. Here we are. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't fit in the punch, so we are going to have to chop him out. So we'll just do that. As you know, just your scissors to a slight angle towards what you're cutting. And you're just opening and closing the scissors and you move the paper. Like this, you can take as long or as little time as you want. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm not taking a huge amount of time. And then he has a little pom pom. You can either chop that off or go around it. It's up to you. How are you feeling? And as ever, I think with most card making things, it, it's practice. When I first started fussy cutting, I used to do huge things to avoid doing it. With lots of circle punches. <laughs> uh. once you know what you're doing it's a lot easier and let the paper do the work not the scissors and again it's like with these feet here you can either just cut all the way around like I've done or you can actually go in and out of the toes it is up to you and then we're just going to trim around the bottom last foot there we go one purse of the penguin there's the purple penguin and then we have two pieces that I've embossed with this snowflake folder unfortunately this is no longer available um, it was part of the Christmas catalog last year but I thought it just really looks nice on the back here but there is a snowflake folder available this year which I haven't bought yet and um, which would work equally well and you've got some little a little strip of the grow grain ribbon. Um, I think that's in gorgeous grape. Hmm, not 100%. So, and that's about a third of the way up. So I'm just going to get my stamp, my uh, stamping up snail. So, don't use snail very often, which is why I'm still using up my old one. I haven't got any of the new ones yet because I'm still using my old one. So about a third of the way up, I'm going to stick that down. Take it across and stick it on the other side like so and then I'm just going to glue it onto here and then add my penguin on some dimensionals. So. And we're just going to work around the pinwheel on each surface, decorating it. So. Right there. Pop this one on 
on the other side while we're here. And I sort of designated this face as the front, which is where I've put the greeting, but it isn't necessarily. As you end up with about four card fronts on this one. <laughs> so let's get some dimensionals and get this one popped up. Within being DSP and not card, I'm a bit generous with the dimensionals. waving on there make sure it's nicely stuck down and then on this side we've got a little white piece using the found it it was still in my bag <laughs> right so i'm just going to stamp the seasons greetings i've used fresh freesia you could use the red um or any of the colors uh, in the suite or your Bermuda Bay or your Calypso Coral. It's up to you. then using the punch I'm just going to punch out my penguin and if you want to pop him onto a piece of um, post-it note so it's easier to hold you can and I am just going to pop him in here line him up using the post-it note and um, there weren't so many of these punchable penguins so uh, that's why I had to only give you little pieces there we go but this paper is still available in uh, the celebration catalogue so uh, you can still get it free with a, an order of 45 pounds or more uh, now i've lost the dimensions okay and again we're going to pop some dimensionals on him i'm just going to use the three top bottom and middle because he's dsp oops Place him just in the corner there, and then the season's greetings. On the top. There we go. So that's face one done. Okay, so I'm going to go through the rest of them now. And Okay, so this next one's quite straightforward. So we've got a piece with some green trees. They've got little penguins and purple background, which we are going to use as the main colour. So I'm just going to stick that on. The other side. See, I make these mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> just seems a shame to cover up, cover up all these little critters. everywhere today. It's a nice new one. And then line up the stitched so sweetly frame 
on there. And then you've got a little strip of the dots. And then I would, I think I got a bit lucky with my trimming there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to stamp first in my um, Bermuda Bay. And then I'm going to glue it on and trim it. I think that's a safer way of doing it. So Bermuda Bay, be cool the bridge. So to get this on the block, I just dropped it down on the paper and it'll automatically straighten, it'll go to its, its natural position. Then pop it on your block and then position it roughly in the middle of the strip I've given you. There we go. It's a centimetre wide, that strip, so if you miss it and you've got some more white, uh, basic white paper, you can always cut another strip. So. And there is the other side, obviously. <laughs> right, each does. So I'm going to get my silicone mat out. And pop some glue on here. And I've got my silicone mat because I actually put glue sort of off the ends of where it's going to be. And then I'm going to position that there. So I've got my Be Cool and Be Merry both in place. And then when I lift it off, it doesn't stick to the silicone mat. Now, do not use your best scissors when you're cutting glued paper like this. So I'm just going to trim that off. there did not want to go and trim that there so I've just got the be cool be chill be merry on there then I can glue those two pieces together and stick them in the bin this uh, the glue will just wash off with warm water and then I can add the glue to the back and pop it on So we're halfway, well over halfway, because we've made the base. Yeah. Oh, turning over again. So what have we got now? Ah, now I've actually made this piece. That's why um, I know it's number three because it's got three on. This is where you're going to write. But I've made this piece slightly smaller so you get more of the effect from the um, DSP. And the more astute of you may have noticed I'm actually using Purple Posy, which is a retired colour, uh, because I thought it went so well and I didn't have... And I'm, you know, I'm trying, I don't waste not want not. So uh, I am using it up and it goes really well with these colours. So... that on and then you've got this piece of whisper white as a basic white as I say that's given a slightly bigger frame slightly less place space to write and um, but it just shows off the designer series paper a little bit more okay and this designer card it really is a blank canvas I mean you can just You've got four sides. You can do all sorts with them. There we go. Now you should have two pieces left of the white. The bigger piece is going to go on the next um, face. So the smaller piece is for this penguin. So let me find him. There he is. going to ink him up with the black <laughs> and make sure lots and lots of ink on him because you want him to be really really black okay it's better. and 
then I'm just going to lay him on here spread it down to press that black spread that black round and just leave it a little minute because you just want to get as much of that black ink off that stamp and onto your card so you've got a lovely black penguin there we go right so and he needs a face and a scarf So we need the triangle beak for this one, only needs some paw, some feet as well. So let's get rid of that black before we make a mess. So with the Calypso coral, I have done his flippers using the double foot stamp. And then the triangle beak, again in the Calypso coral. Just at the bottom of the black area. They really come to life, don't they? <laughs> so you put that beak on, it's, that is now a penguin. So. Now hopefully, I've left enough room for the scarf as well, which is in the real red. this away for now. Real red. Let's see where's that gonna go. go there. Yeah. Just beware, don't press stamp your penguin too in the middle. Otherwise <laughs> you're not gonna get your scarf. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to cut that piece off before I punch out so that it's not punched out by the punch. There we go. Just lining him up in the punch again. If you want to use a post it note, you can. There we go. Okay. And I'll quickly cut out his bow tie. Gonna pop the window closed. There's all sorts of building work sounds like. She's not on for a Sunday. I thought it'd be lovely and quiet. So that's a definite triangle I'm actually sort of cutting out like we were taught to cut out at school. not throw away the penguin. And a few dots of glue. Mm 
I've just added scarf and there is all nice and dressed. More glue on the back. And then just stick him on the corner there. I think I'm just going to put him so he's overlapping onto the DSP so you've got a little more space. Might be worth waiting for the scarf to dry before you glue it on because it's just moved. There we go. Okay. So there he is just on the corner of the page, still leaving you room to write. And I've got my foxes the wrong way. Haha, <laughs> be careful. There are two pieces with the dots on. The other one obviously was cut the right way around on mine, so sorry about that, folks. So I'm just going to use another dotted panel there. So I'm sure if you're making a long, uh, if your critters are the right way around, do critters. If not, do the dots, or if you just prefer the dots, just do the dots. I think they're beautiful um, with all the colours in. Right, so there we go, and we're on the last one. Hello ladies, had to take a little break from filming because my husband was uh, mowing the lawn and our lawn mower does definitely sound like it's on its last legs. Right, so we're just doing the last scene which is the snow scene with the uh, sliding penguin there. So I'm going to use the um, long stamp and I'm just going to make that up but just make sure you don't have any ink on the edges of the block with it being such a wide block and, and long it's quite easy to do and so we're going to stamp that off and then stamp that on the card from one side to the other okay and then we're going to do the same again but turn the stamp over so again double checking there's nothing on the edge as you can see from all the ink on my finger there has been <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to stamp that off and then I'm stamping it the other way so I've turned it the other way up and we're just going to stamp it on here there we go so we've got our snow scene now and so I'm going to now chop into the two pieces so that we've got um, we know where to put the penguin and the trees so I'll just pop the ink pad away for a second and this piece is 12 centimeters long so I'm going to Chop it at seven centimetres rather on this side. So I've got a piece for each side. So I'll just put that in there. So I'm going to cut that at seven centimetres. So our snow is continuous, but the card will still fold in the middle. Right, okay. So that's going to fit on there as you can see. Right, so let's add our penguin. We need the memento black. And he's just going to be sliding down the hill. Nicely. It's again, check the edges of your block. And then I'm just positioning just so it's sliding down the hill. I'm just going to hold that on for a little while to get as much black onto the card as I can. There we go. And then we'll add the beak. So this time we want the sideways on beak rather than the front ways on beak. And I'm using the Calypso Coral. Okay, and again, just as the, the black sort of finishes on his face, I'm adding the beak. How cute is that? It really does bring them to life. Uh-oh. down there. Be careful of your little tiny stamps because they do um, jump off and run away when you're cleaning them. So I'm going to be searching the floor when I've finished. And now I'm just going to do the trees on this side. So again, to get the lighter green, or use just jade because that's a nice light green. Stamping and then popping it on the hill. And then the second one just stamped off. 
There we go. And then I'm re-inking with stamping off twice just to add the third tree. There we go. So there's the trees. We just need his hat. We're gluing on and then we're finished. So I do hope you've enjoyed this week's card. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you click on my face, um, you'll be able to subscribe or use the subscribe button before. If you do a thumbs up, that's also helpful. It helps with my stats and gets my video shown to a wider audience. Um, so that helps my business. And we've decided for next month, we are going to be doing the Turtle Friends. So that's a, another punch and stamp set, um, which is really, really cute. So, right, just last few steps. I'm just going to glue these down. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to uh, joining you all again next week. There we go. Finish card. See you soon. Bye.